All right, we, welcome back. We have been looking forward to this one all week long. We really have. Craig hit the road this morning for a really good reason. He's celebrating some remarkable students. Sunday night's game here on NBC. It's a good matchup. The New England Patriots, Dilly Dilly's team, taking on the Seahawks of Seattle. And get you ready with some recipes to match. we got our favorite. Good morning and welcome to the third hour of today on this Friday morning. I am Dylan here with Chanel. Al uh, has the morning off. And Craig just pulled off that so awesome great. surprise. Uh, for some students out in Pennsylvania uh, who, like so many, are learning remotely. So we are going to check in with him in a minute. I'm, I'm still kind of recovering because Chanel and I just recorded a video that you'll see on Instagram. <laughs> We never and, really um, plan it. No, we don't really plan a lot of the things that we post, and it, it, <laughs> there's there's a lot of voice. You'll see it. A I voice told, screech here. I and asked there, our so. producer, please just post the entire thing, and you'll see that <laughs> Dylan is going through puberty when you see that she posted. All right. <laughs> yes. So, all right. Coming up in a little bit, we are going to talk with a kindergarten teacher who is going above and beyond right here on Third Hour today. And then from a Super Bowl hero to Superfood Friday, today happens to be National. Ch all right. So, like we just mentioned, Craig was pulling off a huge surprise out in Pennsylvania in uh, McKeesport. It's our, our parent company, Comcast, the full moment today. All right, well, overheard on third. Something Usher, the singer, told his sons that had us talking this morning. We decided to have the conversation with you guys. It's about one, and we're also going to talk about one dad's genius <laughs> Halloween idea. We'll show you that. And then a little bit later, Joy is making super food. Welcome back, and it's time now for Overheard on 3rd. And, you know, in the morning during our meeting, we talk about different topics that we, we yeah. can discuss. And this one really just got us talking. It, it, it involves Usher's song, I Cry. It came out in June. Mm -hmm. With his about, kids. With his kids, yeah. about a father and a son, and his eyes welled up with tears. He started crying. He kind of worked that into all the, you know, and I cry. And it, it, it sparked the bigger question, mm -hmm. is it okay for your parents to see, for you to, your kids to see their parents cry? Right. It's, it's interesting. We all remember moments, or at least I do. I remember seeing my mom. It, it was a couple of Christmases ago. And, you know, we... Especially because, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Not to call Brian out, but he is a crier. A crier. You know, especially crying, in our yeah. relationship, yeah. I'd say he cries more than I do. But <laughs> men to sometimes cry and let go of their emotions, especially in front of their kids. But it, it it's okay it's good for your kids to see that, especially raising two boys. I want Calvin and Oliver to know it's okay to mm -hmm. release your emotions, to feel those emotions. And um, I think it's a great thing. Yeah, I we all—if so anything, Brian and I—we always tease you. Dylan <laughs> is tough, so I think it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I beautiful think so thing. Too. Speaking of awesome dads, another thing we were talking about this morning, earlier this week, we were talking about Halloween. You know, we're seeing the Halloween costumes up at the stores. Are you going to take your kids trick or treating? If you don't have kids, are you going to open your doors and hand out candy? Well, this one father in Cincinnati, he grew perfect. He said he's going to stand at the top, open up the bag of candy, it's really cute. change his That's, That's genius. genius. So we decided, um, and we talked about this at the top of the show, if you have any ideas, creative ideas for either receiving candy or giving candy, just go to at third hour today and tell us on our Instagram page. We made a video for you. I don't know if it's up <laughs> yet, but it's quite delightful yeah. and you'll enjoy and it. And costume ideas, too. I feel oh, like a ninja. True. You know, you could wear, be a ninja and just, oh, and put, have a, a mask. just put a mask. Oh, and have a mask. Video coming right. out this Halloween. <laughs> All right, coming up next, the learning is virtual, but the enthusiasm Enthusiasm is Welcome back. Parents and teachers know virtual learning can be tough, especially for younger kids. Well, one kindergarten teacher in Lake Stevens, Washington, is trying to make sure her energy and positivity burst through the screen. Mackenzie Adams shared a behind-the-scenes glimpse of her virtual classroom on TikTok this week, and it went viral, racking up nearly 10 million views. Take a look. Two-time Super Bowl champ Eli Manning joins us to talk about family football. <laughs> Eli Manning is a two-time Super Bowl. This isn't your average tailgate. Joy Bauer is celebrating National Cheeseburger Day with two Super Back today is National Cheeseburger Day. You're welcome. And it's also <laughs> Super Food Friday. So to celebrate, Al caught up with today nutritionist Joy Bauer, who showed him how to take burgers to the next level. <laughs> Of course, oh Dad goodness. loves it. That's great. Hi, Joyce parents. How fun. I feel like we just met them. I know. So cute. All right. Thanks, uh, Joy and Al, for that. And for these recipes, head to today.com slash food. Artie and Ellen, nice to meet you. Up next, he's back on television. Comedian Larry Wilmore is live to give him of a classic game show. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Emmy winner Larry Wilmore has worked on hits like The Bernie Mac Show, The Office, and HBO's in... Professor, we have six seconds to tell you Jane Lynch is here on Monday. And Hoda and Jen are next. Have a great day.